But global dimming was not the only phenomenon that didn't seem to fit with global warming. In Australia, two more biologists, Michael Roderick and Graham Farquhar, were intrigued by another paradoxical result, the worldwide decline in something called the pan evaporation rate. It's called pan evaporation rate because it's evaporation rate for pan. Every day, all over the world, people come out in the morning and see how much water they've got to add to a pan to bring it back to the level it was at the same time the morning before. It's that simple. In some places, agricultural scientists have been performing this rather dull daily task for more than a hundred years. The long-term measurements of pan evaporation are what give it its real value. And the fact that they're doing the same thing, day in, day out, with the same instrument. Yeah, they deserve a medal, each of them. Yeah. For decades, nobody took much notice of the pan evaporation measurements. <laughs> 